Good evening. Welcome to the headlines from the Bangkok Post, which we summarize the day's top three stories from the BangkokPost.com for you. This video was recorded on Thursday, July 14th, 2022. The most popular story today is Tales of Alcohol Abuse. Alcoholism is on the rise in Thailand, wreaking havoc on individuals, families, and innocent strangers. A man was raised in a slum where consuming alcohol and drugs was a common sight. He made his mind to steer clear of both and moved out of the troubled community. A few years later, his motorcycle was hit by a drunk driver. He was disabled after the accident. Figures show more than 20% of road accidents are caused by people driving under the influence of alcohol, with the damage costing more than 90 billion baht a year. That percentage doubles during holidays, so drink responsibly and don't drive. Now, the second most popular story is Phuket hasten assistance for 900 illegal built small hotels. Many unlicensed hotels were found to have been built at prohibited sites, such as in national park areas. There are 994 small-sized hotels in Phuket. About 53% were found to breach the building control laws. And Phuket is speeding up help to more than 900 small hotel operators affected by closure due to their illegal construction on public land. Some small hotel operators demanded the government amend the law as many of their assets have been seized and were auctioned off. Only 91 of the 994 small hotels that require rectification have done the required work. The Department of Provincial Administration, which supervises the implementation of hotel-related laws, is trying to assist the rest. And the next popular story is Planet movie screening at Wollongpong Station called off. City Hall has called off a free open air movie screening and musical performance at Wollongpong Station planned for Sunday after an awkward lack of forward planning. The screening was to be part of a City Hall initiative to set up movie theaters outdoors at several locations in the capital this month to entertain people and generate business for small vendors. The State Railway of Thailand said today that they had not sought permission to use space at the station before announcing the event and it would have been refused anyway. And those are the three top stories for today. Thanks for following the headlines. Have a good evening and see you again next time.